Hey guys, how are you? It's good to see everyone. I'm Dr. Jen, uh, practicing family physician, on air health expert, and video creator. Thank you for joining me. We have a really important topic to talk about. Uh, this is one that I was just made aware of actually by one of my followers on Facebook. So thank you for all of you who send me videos and you send me links to um, credible articles and information out there in the newswire. Uh, that's where I'm getting this information. I felt like it was really important to come to you with this. I was actually surprised myself. Um, so, you know, if you might have seen this yourself in the news. I don't know if you have. I've just been made aware of this today. Um, but there are a number of news articles uh, circulating that are talking about like they have headlines such as, you know, um, people who are you know getting the COVID vaccine um, for work or for work mandates are um, trying to undo the COVID vaccine with certain methods that they are seeing online. In other words, um, the implication is that uh, these are many, in many cases, people who did not want to get the COVID vaccine, but perhaps chose to get it because of work mandates and work requirements um, and to keep their job, which is completely understandable. And by the way, I have to say, I'm, I'm happy that you're going to keep your job. And I'm also happy that you're COVID vaccinated, by the way, because I know that it saves lives. Um, but in any case, um, apparently there is a number of people who have chosen to get vaccinated in order to keep their job, but really have not and did not want to get vaccinated. And what they've been trying to do apparently is to try to detox or undo this vaccination that they received. Now, when you hear that, it doesn't quite make sense. Uh, it may not sound like it makes sense. And if that's the way you feel, well, you're, you're, you're right. Um, undoing or detoxing from a vaccine doesn't is not is not language that we usually use for a number of reasons, and I'm going to explain all of that. But first, I want to tell you some of the ways apparently in which people are trying to detox from from having gotten COVID vaccines. Okay, and I'm telling you this because I think it's important to know what's out there and what to um, educate your friends and family about, um, and to be very clear about what's safe and effective and healthy and what is not. So um, apparently there were some TikTok videos, one video, more than one video that was uh, suggesting in particular ways to detox or undo the COVID vaccine once you received it. Um, and this video apparently has been taken down from TikTok, but according to news reports, um, one item said to take a bath um, with a number of items in the bath. One of them was baking soda, uh, to remove radiation or to get rid of radiation from the vaccine. Let's first start with that. Um, the vaccine does not have radiation in it. It is not a, you, you don't become radiated by getting the vaccine, okay? Um, uh, and I, I don't know that I want you putting baking soda in your bath, okay? Number two is Epsom, Epsom salts or Epsom to remove poisons and toxins. And we know that the COVID vaccine, just like all other vaccines, they don't have poisons or toxins in them, okay? Um, and then another item that was mentioned was borax, which is a household cleaner. Um, it's like a disinfectant type of a cleaner. Um, and in one article I read, it, that, that borax was listed to be put in the bath in order to remove nanotechnology. I've talked a lot about the concept of nanotechnology and the COVID vaccine. There are a lot of myths running around about nanotechnology, microchips being in the vaccine, that you become microchips, that you'll be magnetized, that there are nanowires, nanochips, et cetera. You can take a look at some of the videos I've done about them. I've done many about them. Um, there are no, there is no nanotechnology that is a part of the COVID vaccine. Okay. So this is really not relevant. Uh, and then the concept of bathing in borax, of course, is, is not something that we want you to do. Uh, also mentioned in some of the sources I read was that, um, you know, some of the people making these claims on TikTok and others were saying that these items would help get rid of yeast and fungal, yeast and uh, fungus or fungal, and, uh, fungal uh, particles or whatever. And, and neither of those are in the vaccine either. Okay. Just need to be very clear. And then in one description of this bath that you're supposed to take with all these things is to use um, hot water as, as hot as you can stand it, which is dangerous in and of itself. I don't want you taking baths in water that's as hot as you can stand it. You know, you can easily burn yourself. 
and hot water. Um, let me just be very clear about this. This is not recommended. This is not smart. This is not safe. Okay. I'm saying these items not to give you ideas. I'm letting you know the exact problem with these items and why it makes no sense, how they're unsafe. And then also how the reasons and why the reasons for them saying, you know, you need to add this, add that makes no sense either. Okay. There's no radiation, poisoning, yeast, fungal elements, nanotechnology, et cetera. And we don't want you, you doing that. Now, there's actually other ways that people are suggesting that you detox or undo the COVID vaccine. I don't know if you guys have seen this, uh, but some people are suggesting that you uh, that one does cupping techniques, cupping, like literally cup ping, C-U-P-P-I-N-G. That's an ancient technique um, that is used for many health conditions. Um and has been over the years, but many people are suggesting that you do a sort of cupping technique or cupping therapy to remove uh, the vaccin vaccination. Um, there is another uh, uh, sort of a description of a video that I saw something about being able to uninject yourself um, and the video or the element used syringes to, to describe how you can um, uninject yourself. Um, you know, these are also non-viable and not viable sort of uh, um, techniques uh, for the sake of uninjecting, detoxing, undoing the vaccine. I want to be very clear, you know, you can't undo a vaccine that you've received, okay? And that's a good thing because, again, this vaccine, as is the others that we have, are life-saving. Vaccines save lives. It's why we, as a society, have lived so long is because we have vaccines that have kept us from dying from conditions like smallpox, measles, um, tetanus, and so many other conditions that people died from. Vaccines keep us alive. So let me also talk a little bit about that, though, too, though, okay? Um, you probably have never heard anyone say, oh, I just got the flu vaccine. Let me go undo this. Right. So that's not that's not terminology that we use, whether you don't believe in vaccines or you do believe in vaccines. I'm sure you will can admit and acknowledge that whether you believe in them or not, I doubt you've heard anyone ever say, oh, let me show you how you can undo that vaccine. It's because it doesn't exist. You know, once we get a vaccine in our system, it's rapidly absorbed and the body goes to work at protecting um, itself from whatever sort of um, intruder that the vaccine was meant to, to keep us safe from. Um, there's There are some ways in which we may not be fully affected by the vaccine, meaning we, we may not be fully protected by the vaccine. And that would be in cases of if we had a weakened immune system, perhaps either because of medications we were taking or because of certain underlying conditions that made us have a weakened immune system. If we have a weakened immune system, it means that the vaccine, we don't respond very well to it. Even though we get the vaccine, we may not sort of pick up the information that it's giving us because our immune system is, is weak and can't respond the way the vaccine may like us to. So that's a situation where we may not respond as well, despite getting a vaccine. But that's certainly not the same thing as being able to detox or undo a vaccine. Um, so, you know, guys, I, I just want to be very clear. And, and many of these myths are running around on TikTok. Uh, on Instagram, on other places. Um, I invite you to Google this sort of topic to see what articles you come up with. You'll see some of the stuff I'm talking about. But it's very important to talk about this. And I, and I talk about this seriously. You know, it seems uh, sort of far-fetched and it also seems, you know, um, uh, kind of like wild ideas. But we know that with this pandemic in particular, it is really um, sort of spurred, I think, the imagination and spurred um, ideas that I never would have imagined would be uh, taken up by many, 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 many people. So I take these myths very seriously and I treat them very seriously because there are people who may think that they need to detox or would want to. With regards to the idea of people going out and getting the vaccine because um, they're mandated, once again, I want to say I applaud you for getting your vaccine if that's what you're choosing to do. Remember, there is a choice. You can choose to you know, get another job or leave your job. But if you're choosing to stay at your job and to get the vaccine, I applaud you for doing that. I really do. And I know there I'm seeing patients in my office that are coming in to get the vaccine when they never wanted to. And their their deadline is coming up in the next week or two. And they waited as long as they could. And now they're like, I got to get this because I can't lose my job. And I have conversations with my patients about this in the office. It's a very important and it's a big topic especially if you've not uh, been on the variety of, of being being up for this. So I respect that and I understand that. 
But please understand that getting the vaccine, there is not a way to detox or undo it or reverse it, okay? Do not subject yourself or suggest to other people or let someone else suggest to you that you can take a hot bath with borax and uh, baking soda and Epsom salts and whatever else someone might tell you and get rid of the vaccine because that's not going to work. It's not going to work with other vaccines. It's not going to work with anything uh, medical related medications or anything. It just doesn't happen like that. Things don't work like that uh, with regards to what we're talking about. Plus, it's not safe for you. You shouldn't be bathing in borax, et cetera. I would need to make that very clear. Um, cupping therapy is used actually for a number of conditions. And I have no problems with the use of cupping therapy in general for certain conditions. But for the sake of trying to detox or undo a vaccine, that's not going to happen. It will not remove a vaccine from your system. Um, so, so, guys, the name of the game here is to be safe. That's what the name of the game is. I want you guys to be safe. I want you to be informed. And I also want you to hear about this stuff from me or any other licensed practicing physician or licensed physician, even if they're not practicing, who practices evidence-based medicine so that when you see these sort of far-fetched ideas on social media or you hear someone talking about them, you can say, wait a minute, I think that was that thing that this doctor was talking about. And it at least will raise your antenna up and say, wait, um, not so fast. Um, we had issues with bleach a while ago, right? And this is reminding me of the borax uh, sort of con the borax concept that we're talking about here is kind of reminding me of the, of the bleach thing. I don't want us to go through that again. Please do not subject yourselves to that. Okay. So um, speaking of TikTok, I think what I'm going to do actually because of this is I literally just got this topic uh, this afternoon. Once again, thank you to the Facebook follower that, that that sent it to me, that DM'd it to me. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have to talk about this. Speaking of TikTok, I'm actually going to go and do a video for TikTok right now um, and put that on my TikTok because I think uh, this is exactly the type of thing that needs to be there. I want to know from you guys. So if you've heard about this, have you heard about people talking about like, you know, hot baths with these things or people even trying to detox or undo the vaccine they received? Let me know in the comments if you've heard about any of this stuff or if you've seen um, videos about this. Uh, if you've heard people talking about it. If you have heard, you know, if this is what you thought, I'd like to know. And I'd also like to know. Um, for I'd like to know and hear from those of you who may have gotten the vaccine because you needed to for your job. And once again, this is a safe place. I'm really glad you got the vaccine. Um, I guess regardless of the reason why you got it. But I'm curious, did you get the vaccine because you were going to be let go if you didn't with your job? I'd love to hear from you as well as everyone else who's gotten the vaccine. Let me know if you got your booster. Um, you know, I just got my booster and um, I did a video on how I felt afterwards and the side effects that I had. I got Moderna. But uh, let me know if you've gotten the, the vaccines. Let me know if you've gotten the booster. Let me know where you are in the process. Let me know if you only got it because you're going to lose your job. Let me know if you've heard any of these myths. I want to know what you think. Um, guys, um, feel free to check me out on TikTok and uh, Instagram and the other uh, channels. I'm there too. Twitter as well at Dr. Jen Cottle. Uh, for those of you who are on Facebook, by the way, um, uh, thank you for the stars. I so appreciate you. Uh, I'll respond to every one of you personally. And uh, if you've not liked and follow my page on Facebook, please do. I do daily videos and all sorts of stuff, including myths that need to be busted. Let me tell you. Um, and for um, and consider joining my uh, subscribers group or subscription group called Dr. Jen Superstars. That's for exclusive content. If you want to get behind the scenes stuff and private lives and all that good stuff. We also do holiday parties, which is a lot of fun. So um, just want to thank you guys on Facebook. And those of you who are on YouTube, thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I can see that some of you guys are driving home and you're listening to this live. And I appreciate that. Um, if you've not subscribed to my channel or click the little bell for updates, please do so you can catch when I come live and post other videos. Um, and I also have exclusive groups on YouTube as well. So uh, and thank you for the super chats and super stickers, by the way on YouTube. So guys, stay safe. That's the name of the game. I just want you to be safe. I want you to be healthy. I don't want anyone getting hurt using bleach, borax, anything, bathing in hot water, any of this stuff. And remember the vaccine does not have nanoparticles, does not have poison, does not have, what was the other thing I said, radiation, any of this stuff, doesn't have fungal elements yeast. Um, in fact, the vaccine will actually reduce your risk of getting COVID and becoming severely ill, becoming hospitalized, or even dying from it which is what we want. So guys, stay safe. Oh, and last thing, join my group called I Got the COVID Vaccine on Facebook. If you want to hear from other people who are getting the vaccine, how they're doing, how their kids are doing with the kids vaccine, join that group. I'll accept you right after this live. Um, you can join and you can hear uh, people are commenting every day about their experiences. So you can ask questions and get your confidence. We will high five you when you get vaccinated. Guys, I love you. Mwah. Bye. Bye guys.